Welcome to this week's what's for dinner video. My name is Ashley. I'm going to be showing you three different meals I made this week. I don't always follow recipes exactly, but if you are interested, I have linked some similar recipes down below. The first dinner I'm going to show you are my tacos dorados de pollo. So I am just going to use one chicken breast because I'm only cooking for two people. So I'm just going to cook that in my instant pot for about 19 minutes. And then once it is done, I'm just going to shred it while the chicken is cooking, I'm going to work on my Mexican rice. I've shown this in almost every single video. To a hot pan, I'm just going to add a couple tablespoons of oil and one cup of white rice. I'm going to stir this around until it is nice and toasted. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of garlic salt, and half a teaspoon of onion powder. And then I'm just going to add about four ounces of tomato sauce. And next I'm going to add two cups of water, one teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder, and one teaspoon of tomato bouillon powder. I like to use a whisk just to make sure everything is nice and stirred in and well combined. I bring it up to a boil and then I put my lid on it and turn it down to low. So for my chicken, I just shred it and then I just add a little bit of cheese and start assembling the tacos. I have my pan set on about medium heat. It is a little bit out of focus, but it will get fixed. So then I just place the tacos inside the oil and let them fry. Once they're nice and golden brown on the bottom, I'm just going to flip them. When they're ready to be removed, I just pick them up and drain all the excess oil and put them on a drying rack. So then I just go ahead and repeat the process for all of the tacos. This is how they looked when they're done. I just topped it with a little bit of cream, some salsa, some cabbage, and some queso fresco. So the next dinner I'm gonna show you is some pesto pasta with some rigatoni noodles. So I'm gonna start off with my chicken. I just butterflied them in half, and now I'm just going to cut them up into about one inch bite-sized pieces. To season the chicken, I just use a little bit of oil, some Cajun seasoning, and some garlic and herb seasoning. I'm just going to mix it all together and then add whatever else I think is needed. So to a pan, I'm just going to add a little bit of oil, add the chicken, and cook it until it's all the way cooked through. I did turn the heat up a little bit more towards the end because I wanted the chicken to get a little bit browned. For our vegetable, I'm going to use some green beans, so I am just spraying it with a little bit of canola oil and I'm just going to add some garlic and herb seasoning. These will go in the oven at about 375 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. So once the rigatoni noodles were done boiling, I just added them back to the pot. I'm going to add in the pesto, add the chicken. I'm going to then mix it all around and add some Parmesan cheese. I 
At the end, I like to add a little bit of Cajun seasoning and garlic and herb seasoning. This is how everything looked once it was done. My fiance said this was the best pesto pasta dinner he's ever had. The last dinner I'm going to show you was some Thai sweet chili chicken and some white rice. I'm going to spare you chopping up the chicken because it's basically the same way I did it last time. I am just going to marinate the chicken with some soy sauce, some onion powder, and some garlic powder. And then I'm just going to dredge the chicken in the flour and this will act as the coating. I'm also going to chop up one red bell pepper and some green onions. For the bell peppers, I'm just going to chop them into small like half inch pieces. So I'm going to be frying the chicken so I have a pot of oil on about medium heat. Once the oil is hot enough, I'm just going to put a bunch of different chicken into the oil until it's all the way cooked through. I don't really know what I was trying to say there. Once the chicken looks like it's just about done, I'm going to drain the excess oil and put it onto a drying rack. I just repeat the process until all the chicken is done. It is important not to crowd the entire pot. So I'm going to get started on cooking the bell peppers and the sauce. To the pan, I'm just adding a little bit of oil and adding in my bell peppers. I'm going to cook these until they're all the way cooked through and nice and wilted. For my sauce, I just mixed together some soy sauce, some sweet chili sauce, and some hot chili sauce. When this starts thickening up, I just added back my chicken and added in some green onion. I just tossed everything around until it was nice and coated. This is how everything looked once it was done. Thank you so much for watching this week's What's For Dinner video. Make sure you come back next week for another one.